Welcome guys to the Crochet Beads channel. In this video tutorial, let's crochet this simple and beautiful flower. For this flower, I'm going to use 2.5 millimeters crochet hook and decay weight yarn. First of all, wrap the yarn around your finger 10 or 12 times. Instead of magic loop, just to make the center part bigger. Like this. Now take it off. And let's imagine that this is magic ring and now make chain 2 1 2 make 10 puff stitches into the center so make a yarn over insert the hook into the center and draw up a long loop the same height as chain 2 now again Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up the second loop. Yeah, yarn over again, draw up a third loop. Yarn over again, draw up a fourth loop. And yarn over again and draw up a fifth loop. Now when you have 11 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all 11 loops. And secure puff stitch with chain one. Now let's repeat. Make a yarn over, insert the hook into the center, and draw up a long loop. Yarn over, and draw up, draw up the second loop. Yarn over, draw up the third loop. Yarn over, draw up a fourth loop. Yarn over, draw up a fifth loop. And yarn over, draw up a sixth loop. So now yarn over and pull through all 13 loops on your hook and secure puff stitch with chain one. Let's repeat. Yarn over, draw up a loop. This is one. Yarn over, draw up a loop two. Yarn over, draw up a loop three. Yarn over, draw up a loop four. Yarn over, draw up a loop five. And yarn over, draw up a loop six. Now make yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops on your hook. And chain one to secure. Let's repeat again. Only at the beginning we did five loops, uh, but we had chain two instead. So in total, six times draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all loops on your hook, and chain one. To secure. Now we have done four puff stitches, make six more, and I will be back. So here it is. Now make a slip stitch into the first puff stitch, like this. Round number two chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch so one single crochet into the same stitch is joining then one single crochet in chain one then again next puff stitch one single crochet and chain one Next puff stitch, and 
and chain one. Go on making one single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of this round you will have 20 single crochet. Now join with slip stitch in first single crochet. Great. Round number three, chain three. And now we will make the same puff stitch, but, but we will split it between two stitches. So make a yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch as joining, and draw up a long loop. Now yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, and draw up the second loop. So this is the half. Now we will work into the second stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop one, yarn over, draw up a loop two, and yarn over, draw up a loop three. Now yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, chain one to secure. Now chain three and make a slip stitch into this chain one that we did. Again, chain three, slip stitch, and chain three once more, slip stitch. Now chain three, and make a slip stitch into the next stitch. So the first petal is ready and now we are going to repeat everything from the beginning. Chain 3, yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, draw up a long loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, draw up a loop. So here you have 5 loops. Now work into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw up a loop and yarn over, draw up a loop. So six loops here in total and five plus six, eleven. Yarn over and pull through all eleven loops on your hook and chain one to secure. Now chain three and slip stitch into chain one space here. Again chain three and slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch, now chain three, and make a slip stitch into the next stitch. The second petal is ready. So let's make one more. Chain three, yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, draw up a long loop, yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a long loop. Now work into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop three times. Two, and three. Now yarn over and pull, pull through all 
loops on your hook and chain one. Chain three, slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch. Now chain three. And join into into the next stitch. Please go on repeating until you have ten petals in total. Here I am. So that's what I have. Let's cut the yarn. Take a yarn needle or tapestry needle. Pull the tail. And let's make an invisible join. Thread the tail. Now insert the hook underneath both loops of the slip stitch from the previous round from front to back. And now insert the hook into the center of the last chain that's it now on the wrong side secure and weave And cut the yarn. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. For the reading instruction, please check my blog. You can find link down. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will be happy to help you. I wish you all a good day and see you soon. Bye.